My name is Cheryl Dodsworth-Smith, and I'm a 1981 graduate of Toma High School. I was in high school with my sister and had the, a, a great academic experience being um, the second Dodsworth to be here in the high school in my family. I can remember being someone who, it was in a family where academics was important. I was encouraged to do my homework, make sure I was on track with all those things, but never thought about being the top graduate in my class. I do remember my freshman year, one of my classmates came up to me and said, Cheryl, I think you are going to be the valedictorian of her class. And I just looked at her like she had two heads because that had never been in my radar. Um, but sure enough, um, when I graduated in 1981, I was very fortunate to be the valedictorian of my class. And I knew at that time that I wanted to go on and to pursue higher education. But in my mind, I never thought beyond getting my bachelor's degree and becoming a nurse and working somewhere in healthcare, um, probably in a hospital, taking care of patients because my goal was to be able to work with especially the elderly and um, make a difference in their lives. But as I got into my career in the Air Force, I was fortunate to have opportunities to do all kinds of things that were very different from being in a hospital, doing things like helping people stay healthy by showing them how to shop in the grocery store, setting up fun runs, doing anti-smoking campaigns with kids in the daycare, as well as help patients in outpatient settings and all kinds of other scenarios that helped me understand that nursing was beyond the hospital. And so when I had an opportunity to look at options for my career, I was encouraged to go to graduate school and that had never been in my radar before, but when I had that opportunity and I was given a scholarship to go to graduate school, I pursued um, a degree that helped me understand how to work in outpatients and community settings as well as in teaching those kind of things to nurses. And that's where I developed my passion to be able to teach. And I took a career path then that moved towards not working with patients directly, but helping new nursing students to learn how to um, take care of patients and help them grow. And as I moved um, through that career path, at the same time I was doing some things part-time for the military, I decided that it was then important for me to get my PhD. So I did get my PhD in 2008 and decided to take a full-time career path in nursing education. And my goal at that time was to teach nursing. And one of the things that came about after I had been working as a teacher in nursing for a while was that I had someone come up to me and say, you really need to be a leader in nursing education. And again, that had never been on my radar. I had never thought about that career type path. I thought I wanted to be with students, help see them grow and help them develop to be nurses in, in the, either in community settings or hospital settings. And so I had someone who tapped me for some leadership opportunities and that gave me increased responsibility and people kept seeing things in me that I didn't know I had that um, recently has led me to take a position as the Dean of Nursing at the University of Wyoming. So I never saw my career path when I left Toma High School being outside of Wisconsin doing anything other than being a nurse in a hospital. But the opportunities that I've been given and people who um, would see in me things that I didn't know I um, had. Um, I think make me want to say to you, um, don't ever sell yourself short, set goals for yourself. Um, I think there's a saying, um, think big or, or go home. And I, I think continue to think about what goals you might set. Think as big as possible um, because your dreams probably can come true.